So I retired in uh, 1996 and I started a web development company, a company called Wittenberg Web up in Wittenberg. That's where I lived, or lived at the time. My first internet connection was 1900 bucks a month. It was on a 9600 baud modem. It was through a company called Pine Top Communications. When I launched my first website, there were 35,000 other websites online. That was it. <clears throat> One of my first customers was a guy by the name of Jim Jenkins. He came to me and said, Roy, I want to sell rocks online. I want to sell rocks on the internet. Okay, Jim, how are you going to sell rocks online? And he says, Roy, what I do is I make these fiberglass rocks in my garage. They're like, you know, full rock. I make waterfalls out of them. I make lawn ornaments out of them. And I think I can sell these online. I said, okay, let me put together a website. It's charged for 450 bucks. And three days later, we had a website. Well, also about the same period of time, there was another startup. You've probably heard of them. Home Depot. They landed on Jim's website. They thought, wow, this would be a really cool product to sell in our stores. Fake rock. So I called Jim up. Thinking Jim was a big... For a rock man, he goes to and they offered Jim a contract. He accepted. He came running to my house. He said, Roy, you made me a millionaire, dude. I decided the contract with Home Depot. We're moving our base of operation up to Seattle. And he gave me a pat on the back and said, Thanks, man. I got 450 bucks. <laughs> All right. Now, during the same exact period of time, there was a lady that contacted me. She lived up in People's Valley. And she came to me and says, Roy, I want to sell dirt online. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a guy sell rocks, and I got a guy who sells dirt. Explain to me how we're going to sell dirt online. He says, well, Roy, my family owns a kitty litter mine in People's Valley. And it's been a family secret for years. We take the residue from the kitty litter, we mix it with yogurt, you put the yogurt on your face, and it dries up oily skin, takes out acne, and it you know, helps up with blemishes. Well, what did I do? I said, yeah, all right, I'll design your website to make 450 bucks. Three days later, she had a website. Well, Home Depot didn't come calling, but a pharmaceutical company came calling because they thought it was a great idea. They didn't buy her outright, but they bought the licensing for that product. And they gave her a check for 250,000 bucks. Again, what did I get? A pat on the back. At that time, I decided I was never going to design another website for another person in my life. <laughs> I was only going to design websites for me, yours truly. So what does a retired cop know how to sell? I sat down, I got a yellow pad out. Well, I know about guns, but you know, the ATF probably come knocking on my door and rape me. You, know, you can't sell guns online. Handcuffs. That would be a cool website, right? Kind of kinky. The idea came to me, man, I'm a retired cop, I wrote a lot of tickets, I'm going to join the dark side and I'm going to teach people how to beat speaking tickets. So I registered the domain RadarBusters.com. Didn't know a thing about radar detectors, I knew a lot about how to write tickets and stuff like that. And we launched our website, and four days later I sold five radar detectors. The problem is I didn't have five radar detectors in stock. <laughs> Alright, so I ran to Best Buy, like any good Budget in the <laughs> all the radar detectors out of Home Depot and started selling them. And then started scurrying around trying to find a wholesaler where I could buy radar detectors. Long story short, we built that website up. And in 2007, I had a total of 45 websites selling automotive electronics. We're bringing in about $3 million a year selling radar detectors, GPS, and all kinds of things. Life was really good. Then I got a phone call. A company called Net Shops was my biggest competitor at the time. They said, Roy, we're tired of competing against you. What is it going to take to buy you out? I had a number in my mind. I thought they'd walk and laugh at it. I said, Send me a check for $3 million. 60 days later, I had a check for $3 million. They brought me out, all 45 other websites. So I did what any good internet marketer would do, took a year off, learned how to fly a plane, went through my bucket list. And then I started training people on how, else, you know, how they could be successful online. Things were going good. 
then, and, and I was doing affiliate marketing, I was NetShop's biggest affiliate marketer for radar detectors with a website called RadarDetector.org. And every month I get an affiliate check for $15,000 selling their radar detectors. Well, January of last year, the check stopped coming. Now, when you get a check for $15,000 every month, it's kind of nice if you depend on it, right? On the 22nd, you know you got that check. 22nd came, no check. 23rd, no check. 24th, no check. I went to the website. There was not one radar detector on RadarBusters.com. What the hell just happened? So I pulled the site up, the net shots up, trying to find out what's going on. They said, oh, the manager will call you up when they get a chance. Five days later, the site manager called me up. They said, well, we fired everybody that was on the staff, on Radar Busters, Binoculars.com, da, 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 all these websites. And they asked me, Roy, you want to buy your website back? Okay. <laughs> right, what happened was, how many of you guys heard of a penguin update? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, they were just in the bank. When I sold my web website to them, it was ranked number one, uh, number two. All my sites were ranked very well. When they took the sites, they interconnected all these websites. See, RadarBusters, Binoculars.com, the Moccasins.com, the Christmas Tree Comps, they all interlinked them. And everything was great for them until Penguin came along, which is a Google algorithm. Yeah. And Google flushed all the websites down the toilet. If you typed in the radar detectors, you'd find that old website of mine on page 300. All right? And that was not only that website, every website they had bought during that time. So from January until October last year, we were in negotiations. And on October 15th, I took back the website RadarBusters.com. And I'm in the process of rebuilding the site, trying to fix up their screw-ups. Right now, we're selling about $120,000 worth of radar detectors at the top a month, about $8,000, $9,000 worth of detectors a day, without any marketing whatsoever, just SEO work and traffic. But during this whole journey, something kind of interesting happened. Back in December of 2013, I heard of this training program called the Amazing Selling Machine. A good friend of mine, Jerry West, he says, Roy, you got to really go with this. you got to really check this out. I mean, they're doing, you learn some really cool stuff on how to sell stuff on Amazon. Well, I was building a, another e-commerce website, one of my many. I have a website, Power Sports Express, <coughs> that sells motorcycle mounts and motorcycle accessories. And I figured, well, you know, that'd be good because a lot of that stuff I do bring in from overseas and I have some U.S. manufacturers <coughs> who manufacture that stuff for us also. So I took this Amazon, this amazing selling machine training. Guys, it was probably one of the best training things I ever took. Um, in a matter of, I guess it was about 10 weeks, I really learned how to scale an Amazon business. Now, I've got to be honest with you, we do sell quite a bit of stuff on Amazon, but there's one product that this makes bank. All right? And I, some of you people have probably been through some of my classes before, know what product it is. It's orange. <laughs> but I'm not going to reveal what it is tonight like, ever again because somebody that went through my training decided, hey, that's an easy product to knock off. I'm going to do the same thing. And for five, four months, I had to compete against that person that went through my training. All right, to a class that you know we talked about how to sell stuff on Amazon. So I'm not going to share that with you. I'll let you know it's something. It's a motorcycle-related product that I, for four of them, for I pay 32 cents a piece, put them in a plastic bag, and I sell them for nine bucks. All right. <coughs> Let's see if this will work. Now, I, know, I don't know if Dave is going to share his Amazon seller account. Not now. <laughs> All right. 30 days, $27,000 in sales. All right. Last, last night I got a check um, for about oh, $11,000. $11, now, when I give my training, you know, I, I always say, hey, would $400 extra a month make a difference in your life? How many would that make a difference to If you had an extra 400 bucks. How much would five hundred dollars make a difference in the world? Six hundred dollars, a thousand. This, what David is going to share with you tonight, will make a difference in your life. All right. This is putting for this one stupid product. All right, one.
one stupid product that I found on Amazon is bringing me twenty some odd thousand dollars a month. And all I do is I bring it in from China, I have family members put it in a bag, and I ship it off at Amazon once a month. So myself, I total, have a total investment of time of maybe four hours a week. Would that change? Would that change your way? This is something anybody could do. All right. You know, I don't care what kind of full-time job you have, but you can spare four hours a week, can you not? Mm -hmm. To make an extra ten, twenty thousand dollars a month. <coughs> David, want to come up here and show him how to do it? This is David. He's uh, one of the mentors for the Amazing Selling Machine. Um, wow. Some of the stuff he's going to share with you tonight is going to amaze you. Thank you, David. Okay. Actually, I go by Dave, so he keeps on saying Dave, and I just want to throw something at him. That's, that's okay. <laughs> my, name, my name is Dave Kepner, and let me get this thing, how do you just put it underneath the shirt? Yeah, wherever well, you were comfortable with so it. You don't have a clicker, right? All right. Okay. So my name is Dave Kepner, thank you for the introduction, Roy. And I actually started uh, with the Amazing Selling Machine, too, back when he did as well. I think it was October of yeah, uh, October. 2013. And I'll have a slide here in a minute that'll show a little bit about my history. But uh, I first came across Roy, I think it was 2007, 2008, yeah. somewhere in there. And um, it was a meetup like this. And um, I've been an internet marketer since I actually started internet marketing in 1998. It's when I first registered my domain, uh, my, my, sorry, not my domain, but my business with the state of Arizona. Went down in January of 2000, uh, 1998 and said, hey, I want to start a business. And started a business and started selling online. That was a long time ago. Now, I didn't start it really the way I should have, because if I did, you know, maybe I would have had something where I could have sold for a few million dollars as well. But uh, I never started like that. Uh, I didn't get my first uh, e-commerce website up until 2003, I think it was. And uh, I was always selling other people's products. I was doing affiliate sales. Um, I was doing uh, buying wholesale, selling retail. And there was, you know, Amazon wasn't what it is today, obviously. They were selling books back then. And uh, so I had a drop shipping website, basically. I would actually, I was a full-time teacher. I was a teacher. I worked in the classroom for six years, and I taught uh, other teachers for six years as, as an instructional specialist in the Peoria Unified School District. And uh, I actually built it up to uh, where I was able to quit my job in 2009, the spring of 2009. So after that school year, 2009, I called it quit, so I was making enough money from home to be able to maintain and uh, uh, live the lifestyle of working from home, which is good and bad. You know, I, I was just telling Roy before we came over here tonight, you, there's always struggles and everything when it comes to working your own business from home and whatnot. And uh, uh, my wife and I and some of the kids were boxing different things, just dealing with a major issue that we had with the supplier. But those things happen. So uh, it's the things that you do in order to make this type of business happen to you, happen for you. Um, so anyway, I was actually selling my own pro my um, other people's products until in, um, I came across this ASM business, and my wife and I actually were looking for something. We had done really well with a uh, actually an MLM back in two that late 2011, all 2012. We did really well. We made our our first um, seven figures actually online, and then the government decided they're going to take it away. And for things that still they have not proven to be uh, any wrongdoing with, but the the fact of the matter was that they had something. We were working for a business that we had no control over. It wasn't our product. It wasn't our business. We weren't making any decisions with that. You know, we were just basically anything with affiliate or MLM. You had to win whatever else someone else was doing, and they had control. Over. So we actually were looking for about a year until we came across this uh, this ASM business, and we said, "Yes, this is what we're looking for." And what what it was is it teaches how to get our own products, like what I was saying, where we can actually outsource them or get them <coughs> made, sourced. In this case, we went to China. Uh, there's many places you can go. There's a lot of people that I know that are doing it right here in the United States. But um, really anywhere. You can go and find these factories. You know, you find these suppliers that will make anything for you, make enhancements, whatever, and then you can get it on online selling. Now, it's not that easy, obviously. I make it sound easier than it is. First thing you need to do is find out what's selling well, right, and then go and make it happen. So before I get into all that, I'll go through a little bit of a presentation here. And I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Now. I don't have a clicker, so it's okay if I just like, sit no, down yeah, and go through it. And um, I'm going to whip through it pretty fast, just tell you a little bit about how big Amazon is, a little bit more about myself and some of the people that I work with. No, I'm going to do that. And then um, I want to make sure that we have time to go through questions. So how many people in here actually are selling right now on Amazon or selling something on Amazon? Three. Well, Mary, of course. <laughs> how many people are selling something online? Okay, how many people have your own product? 
Okay. And one of the, I can't remember, was it you that had all that stuff in the garage you said to sell? Yeah. Is that other people's products then? Uh, <coughs> just I bought before for my, for my other business. Okay. <coughs> all right. Okay, and how many people have never made a dime online before? Okay, so the other half has? Pretty good. All right, let's get a little feel here. All right, so let me go through this. And uh, basically, this is this is a presentation that I did last year for the, uh, the last launch we did of ASM. We did a, a webinar, and I just want to introduce people to really the world of Amazon, what it's all about. And then I'm going to go through and just show you some stuff of how we find opportunities online, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so. This is the six-figure profit formula with the amazing selling machine presentation here. And let's see how this go. I always throw the sales disclaimer out there, just because we're recording it as well. Just so you know that the average person does not go out there and do what myself or Roy or my wife Mary goes out there and, and, and does. And the main reason is because they don't go out there and take the effort that it requires to make it happen. So I always go out this disclaimer that I'm going to show you numbers here, but it's definitely not a prediction of your success. But I'll tell you right now that if you do take action, you can see numbers like Roy was saying. You could make lots of money online if you wanted to. All right. So has this ever happened to you? No. Have you guys stuck stuck in the rat race? Right. Have you ever spent every spare second of your time trying to figure out how to achieve financial freedom for you and your family? How many of you guys want to make more money or need to make more money for your family? <laughs> Right, there's a lot of people out there that have struggled, right? That's the reason why you guys are here. You're looking for other ways to make extra income. Um, how many people have att attempted network marketing? Show of hands network marketing? Any network marketing in here? Really? Oh, yeah, surprise. Usually you get a lot of hands with that. Uh, a lot of people uh, kind of get uh, kind of this view of they're not very happy about things online because they think everything's a scam because they try these other stuff online and it doesn't work, right? Um, I know people that have had a lot of success with that one, so we have already as well, too. Uh, how many of you have actually purchased expensive training programs in here? Nobody. Really? No one's ever. Okay, I was going to say. Yeah. It's loaded, though. Right? It's, there's some good stuff out there, but there is some junk out there. Uh, there's sometimes they promise you something, and it, it usually over delivers uh, and doesn't divide, doesn't deliver the way it should in any way. Um, you ever hear the next best thing that's coming? Or the next, you know, people are on to the next the Facebook ads. You guys, what's going on with Facebook ads? Is everyone all excited about Facebook ads? That was like last year. Now it's like Pinterest. Now I don't know who's on the cutting edge of Pinterest, but Pinterest ads now is coming out. If you haven't heard about it, you will. People get all excited about that. Well, if you don't have anything to sell, it doesn't matter if you're doing advertising or not. Either. You need to know how to advertise, but you also need to have something to sell. So you're not alone. All right, my name is Dave Kenner. I personally have searched for many ways. I mean, I'm a little behind here. I'm looking at that over there. Um, so where are we at here? Search for many ways to make money online, both online and offline, since the early 1990s. I've been an entrepreneur pretty much all my life. When I was five, I think I was like five or six years old, I used to work with my grandmother. She used to, uh, her and I used to make these, we used to cut out Christmas cards with this fancy scissors, little crank, whatever, uh, and we'd make these uh, tags for Christmas presents. We'd put little bows on it, and we, it was a pain in the butt. And then she'd make me go out there and go door to door and sell it. But that was my first thing, selling on the selling, actually, was going door to door selling these little Christmas cards that my grandmother and I did. Which is funny because when I actually then quit my job to work from home full time, she called me crazy. So <laughs> go figure, she's the one who got me to start that. Uh, I've worked with several network marketing companies, like I said, we've uh, had very much success with that. But uh, only they, they, they failed in the long run. They, they haven't always delivered. Uh, like I said, we had one that we had the most success with, and uh, the government decided to recommend, and they said it wasn't operating the way it should, and it got shut down. Uh, like I said, we, we, offered, we started a, we built a, a million dollar year business with, with one of them, but the SEC decided to shut it down. And they still, to this day, it's been two and a half years, and they still have not proven any wrongdoing doing, doing yet. Yes, it is, if you're worse. So, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 But uh, when it comes down to it, like I said, if you're not in control of your own business, someone else can take it away from you. All right. Uh, and we've also purchased tens of thousands of marketing courses and tools, and we've always, I'm always looking and always ongoing learning. Uh, but when we bought the ASM program is when we finally had our proven success model. Uh, making online is not is making money online is definitely not easy. So more than 49 percent of people try internet marketing, eventually quit or fail at it. It's just what it is. And uh, a lot of times it's because people think there's going to be an easy fix. There's no easy fix. If anyone tells you there's a magic bullet or just do this, just do this and get two people and they get two people and you're going to make a million dollars. It ain't going to happen. It just doesn't work that way. Okay? You actually have to work very hard for your success. 
It's just what it is. All right. But we're going to show you how to achieve success with this program that we're going to be talking about here. So what have you been missing? Missing lack of fundamental business building knowledge, lack of strategy, poor business design, or poor plan for success. Not really realizing that it takes a lot of time, effort, and dedication, like I was saying, and not having a proven road, uh, proven road to success, and uh, not having support or coaching. Uh, we have people that have purchased the actual ASM program that Roy was talking about, and I know people that haven't succeeded in. And part of the reason is, well, part of the reason is because they follow it step by step. But another part is they don't have any coaching or mentoring with it, and that's where we come in. That's why Roy and I are working together here, and I'll share more about that later. So finally, solutions to your success. You start making money online, working from the number one proven business to partner with online, which is the amazing selling machine. Uh, those of you guys that have been internet marketers for a while, probably have you heard, have any, has anyone ever heard of the amazing selling machine in here? Neil has. Okay, and you have two. Basically, it's the number one internet marketing course ever created. And it's, that's because they've had more sales than any other uh, any internet marketing course, and they have uh, the most success with it as well. It's called the Amazing Selling Machine. And uh, we have proven success from coaching from experts, making big profits daily. I'm gonna show you some figures in a minute from our team of people that we actually help coach with. And uh, you can build six figure uh, a month, uh, sorry, six figure a year income from a home, finally achieving your financial freedom. And we saw the show of hands of people that were looking for that. So I mean, we're, I'm talking building a six figure income and Roy's just talking about maybe just an extra thousand dollars a month would be nice, right? So um, you can achieve a lot more than that. But you need to start somewhere, right, Roy? Right, 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 mm -hmm. Somewhere. Right. <laughs> so my wife and I, uh, like I said, I was internet marketer since 1998. Uh, we created a seven figure business with affiliate marketing and network marketing. We created a million dollar business on Amazon selling our own products in seven months using tools of teaching from the ASM2 in October 2013. Uh, we bought the course in October. We sold our first product November 11th, which was our first brand product. That By that Christmas, we did $40,000 in sales. By the end of February, we're doing $50,000 a month. By the end of April, we're doing $100,000 a month. And we had $250,000 a month in late June that year. So inside of six months, basically, we created a multi-million dollar business because of this course I'm going to show you. And we did not have the coaching and stuff that we're going to be offering you guys. Today. So, Roy, do you have any coaching? No, well, no, not really. I mean, you know, I had some background in it, but you know, I went through the A's and four right. class. We had the internet marketing background. Yeah. Right. But nowadays, there's, you'll see once once it starts launching, which is going to be next month, you're going to see these people talking about all these big bonuses and everything, because that's what you need in order to have this this the success with uh, ASM, because you really need to have that coaching and extra, and extra mm -hmm. tools and stuff that uh, is being taught. And then we fo we're focusing on teaching. To uh, prove success with others, already helping uh, helping hundreds of people succeed on, on uh, Amazon. We have a team of uh, over 200 people that we've personally helped over the last two launches. So there's been we came in ASM two. I say two because that's the second time it's launched. ASM three and four came out. It was pretty much every six months, and then we started promoting ASM three and four, and we've helped over 200 people now achieve the, su the success online. And we're starting to do uh, partnerships, which I don't even think Roy I even shared with you this the lock the deal we locked in here. Uh, last week. How many people know uh, Rob, you've heard of Robert Kiyosaki? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Well, Robert Kiyosaki and I are partnering together for the next launch of ASM. Uh, his group is going to be all be coming in through us because he found out that, that basically what they had in their office was no Amazon experts. The people that they brought in with ASM4, uh, they were not able to help coach them because they know all their stuff about financial and, and uh, you know, different things to do with your money, but they had no way of helping teach people the Amazon business. So they were looking for somebody, and they found me to partner up with, and uh, everything that Robert Kiyosaki is going to be doing with ASM now is going to be promoting through us, and we're going to be offering the coaching bonuses through them. That's not public knowledge yet, so don't go putting that on Facebook as soon as we're doing it right now. No. And, uh, <laughs> because it's not fully locked in yet, but it is a done deal. And uh, Robert Kiyosaki and I are going to be actually filming a week from tomorrow, and we're going to be promoting videos for ASM. We're going to be promoting to an ebook that him and I are co-authoring together, and then that's going to be going to the launch of ASM Five. So everyone's going to be a part of that as well. So congratulations. So right, if, if anything, that should show you something that you know how big this is that we're talking about. Robert Kiyosaki actually says that um, this is one of the best opportunities he's ever seen for a digital marketer. 
Okay, he still believes in internet marketing too, but for him and I disagree a little bit. That's because I've been burned so many times in the past. But uh, uh, he spoke at the ASM event the last two times that the, we've got an event in Las Vegas, and uh, brought, actually Sir Richard Branson spoke last time as well. So these are some of the you know big names that come or back behind what this company is all about. What did you mention he disagreed on internet versus? Uh, no, about he he still feels that uh, network marketing is also a good way to move forward with things, and I think it's a full of model right now. There's just too much greed and stuff back behind it, and that's why I tend to stay away from it. So, but that's okay. Internet you know, network marketing is something that could be uh, something very solid. It's just it's not. There's just too many people that, that screw it up. Uh, these are just a snapshot that was taken. You see, on September 12, 2014, that was year to date last year. So that was 1.1 million dollars that we had at that point for the first, you know, eight plus months of the of the year. We finished with just over 1.9 million last year. Um, our December sales. You guys take a picture, but I don't want to post it anywhere. <laughs> for your own private, okay? Um, the uh, we did. 465,000 in December alone in sales. And what happens is the Christmas season is usually about four, I don't know if you've seen this, Roy, it really depends on what products you have, but we've seen it, uh, the Christmas season, the shopping season is about four times more volume than what it normally is. So we had, our, our November was like 120, and then we did about four times that in December. When I so, had radar busters, you're selling radar, well, I say I, I took it back, but I didn't have the opportunity to get it built up in time for Christmas. But when I had radar busters before, 45% of my yearly sales came in through December. Right. So I told my wife, I said, you know, if we just focus on Christmas every year, we'd, still, we'd be doing quite well. Right. So our goal is actually to start doing a, a million a month. We expect it, um, but it really depends. Like I said, there's some hiccups in there. I was hoping to be there already. But really what comes down to it is we're content. I mean, I, I'm not driven anymore. I'm not driven by the money. Um, I'm driven by helping others. And so I've been putting more time and effort into helping people like you achieve your own success than actually us going above and beyond, and which I'm fine with because I get very much enjoyment out of what I'm doing here tonight. So, and I get, I mean, there's nothing I get out of this for being here with you guys. Roy said, you want to come speak? And I said, okay. You know, I actually, I, I told him, I said, my, my schedule's pretty tight. We actually leave for Aruba tomorrow morning. Uh, ASM has a, a mastermind that they're doing, a $15,000 mastermind in Aruba. And uh, I'm one of the trainers that's going to be training that group of people this week. And then when we come back, I'm going to be doing the thing with Robert Kiyosaki. And then the next day, I fly out to Austin, Texas, which is where ASM's uh, based. And I'm actually going to be one of the three trainers that's putting together the course for ASM 5. We're redoing the whole course. So if you guys ever, if you guys do purchase the course, you're going to see me a lot because I'm going to be teaching you one third of it. Okay, so pretty busy. So we had to squeeze this in because the launch of the pro of the um, the, the pre-launch would actually start April 13th. Anyway, thank you. Appreciate it. Here's some of the people that uh, I work with. That I say I work with. They're part of our team. Uh, Peter Carney is actually the one that uh, got us involved with ASM. He told us about it. So it's a little bit about his background here. Uh, he was in, in real estate and he launched just about everything in uh, 2007. And uh, he has created a multiple million dollar business selling on Amazon as well now. And he's also focused on teaching others. And there's some of his earnings from the first you know, part of the year there. He actually, when we came about, when we heard about ASM, we saw his uh, a testimonial video on there. And I was like, that's my friend Peter. And he actually lives in people. Well, he's lived in Gorianos in Prescott. But um, yeah. I called him up and said, Peter, hey, I saw you on the thing. I said, what are you doing? You know, I was like, you. Every time he's done something, he's done it through me, right? And um, this time he did. So he goes, Dave, you won't believe me. I said, just tell me, how much are you doing? He goes, I'm doing 25,000 a month. I said, Peter, you don't know how to sell. <laughs> he goes, well, ASM, tell me how to sell. I'm like, okay, you tell me more about ASM. That's how we got involved. Uh, my buddy, uh, Ranjit Ranjit, uh, I'm sorry, Ranjit Ranja. We actually call his first name, we call him Ron. That's his real name. He's been internet marketer since 2009. Uh, he actually went to big debt, we, I hear about this a lot of times. Then he created seven figure a year income in the health and beauty industry. And uh, he also now is uh, uh, in ASM, he started in last May. And last I heard, uh, him and his partner Jeff, which I'll show you his picture here in a second, they worked together in the supplement area and they did, I think, over 500,000 in January because January is their, that's their Christmas time. And he did 600,000 in February, I don't know if I shared that with you. 
So he earned it over a million. He's doing better than me in the first couple months of the year. So he knows what he's talking about. Jeff, his partner, has been doing this since 2007. He actually worked with Amazon. Uh, worked, I'm sorry, worked for a company that sold on Amazon, doing over 21 million a year. So he's an expert in all selling uh, things on, on Amazon. And he also joined, like I said, with his business partner. And he started making over six figures in just under five months. My buddy Julian Thornton, and by the way, just so you know, all these people that I'm showing you here, I came across them from meeting them at events, just going out there and networking. So kind of like what you guys are going out here doing, some, going out and networking, that's, what, that's how I met these people. Uh, Julian is my buddy from Australia. Uh, he's made every mistake possible. He joined early, <laughs> but he actually uh, he did a lot of he made a lot of mistakes. But he finally started making. This is a guy that started a little slower. Uh, after about uh, seven months, he started getting things rolling. And then in uh, last year, around this time, he did. I think it was over. Oh, there it is, right there. He did two hundred ninety-seven thousand the month of May last year. And uh, that is just basically with one product. He was writing press releases, and it just happened to be, an, I think it was announced on uh, Dr. Oz, his product. Not his product, but the product that he was selling, and this went crazy. And then, boom, he was out of stock, and you know, he did 300000 But He said it was the worst month ever. And I said, really? <laughs> he went, well, I was out of stock or whatever. I said, give yeah, it to me, $300,000. Oh yeah, well, that was good. But I went through a month of hell. Okay, yeah, that's your month of hell. Anyway, that was his numbers. He did just under seven hundred thousand when I took the screenshot. He did over a million last year as well. And uh, there's, uh, let's see, Julian. That's some of his. It's just his uh, uh, third day screenshot. This is one of our screenshots. Was out of order here. Ooh, what happened? Mine didn't show up there, did it? Oh well. Let me go back here. Let's see. Well, for some reason, mine's not coming up in there, but I had the 285,000 should be showing there. Uh, Peter's best month was 156,000 at this point in September. And then we had uh, Ron, where he does, you know, like I said, the health and beauty stuff, and he had almost a million dollars there during this period, which was, uh, what is that, 10 days, 11 days? Total of, I'm not sure what the total is from there, but I believe that was 30, yeah, 30 days revenue. There it is, almost a million dollars he did in the health and beauty. And let's see, Ron, there's another one, this is a different count. He did, there's close to $5 million there, and this is over eight months' time. Realize he's been an internet marketer for quite some time, so once he got a hold of this ASM model, he was able to take it and run with it. So what is the number one business, what's the number one opportunity online right now? And you know that we're here to talk about Amazon, but I just want to throw some figures at you. In 2014, this company, which is Amazon, did just about $89 million, $1 billion last year. And, you know, why Amazon.com? I think our, the pictures are not coming all in here, some of my screenshots. But uh, <clears throat> Amazon is $34 billion annual revenues when that was $34 billion. At that point, we're larger than the GDPs of half of the countries in the world. That's just ridiculous, right? They serve 137 million customers a week. And these are old figures, by the way. These are about six months ago. So this means that Amazon has over... 19.5 million customers a day. During Christmas, uh, I didn't put the Christmas numbers in here, but blows it away, like five times that. And... Was there a dip at all with Alibaba? There, uh, no dip. <laughs> Everything keeps growing, growing, growing. Uh, if anything, Alibaba is a good thing for us because then we'll have more places to sell our products. Uh, this year, which is last year, uh, Bezos was, he was selling, he's the CEO of the company, he was selling the Kindles for a $5 loss. Why? Right? He's expanding an empire. Actually, it, those of you guys that don't know the Amazon story, I suggest you, you read up on it and how Amazon became what it did. Do you guys remember back in the early 2000s when the stock, Amazon stock was just like total crazy and they had no earnings to prove it? And then the crash happened, and it dumped down and everything. And Amazon was one of those survivors. But the reason why they were losing so much money was because they were selling things at a loss. Their, their whole point was to get the customer base, and then they could make sales later. right? So their whole business model is to sell things at the cheapest price, price possible and get those customers in and serve them very well and have them come back for more and more. That's their business model. Why Amazon? This was their revenue growth from the year of 98 and how it grew over the last... 17 years. And you see this one, when I took this screenshot, this is what was predicted for last year, and as you see, it was just ex almost exactly what they predicted. They did 88.9, but it was 89.9 that they wanted. 
And so they're shooting for 107.6 next year. I think they're going to be pretty close. Uh, and this is just Amazon.com. I'm not even talking about how Amazon is expanding through the other places in the world. Yes? In fact, I didn't tell my, my wife this. Uh, when I was Actually, when I went to the restroom right before I came on over here, I was looking at my email, and I got an, an email from Amazon.ca saying, hey, we want you to sell on Amazon Canada. It's okay. We'll put you on the back burner, because right now we're shooting for Amazon.jp, which is Japan. We're doing the UK after that, and we're going to Germany. Uh, there's a, a lady that spoke on stage in uh, our last event, and uh, she actually tripled her business just by going to those three countries. And she's making over 250000 a month. She is speaking in Aruba, and I'm looking forward to learning from her because we are actually going to be expanding. If we can just triple our business just going to other countries, why not? Right? It's not that hard to do. It's just a matter of doing it. So partnering with, it with Amazon. So how can you take advantage of this huge business opportunity with explosive growth, which is Amazon.com? And it's through the amazing academy, uh, or ASM. So we're going to be learning from the top internet marketing course, the best one ever created and offered. And uh, with our team of experts, you can achieve success as well. So these are some of the things you'll learn from the ASM. Again, this is both specific to the course, but I'll show you some things here in a minute. If you guys have questions, you want to see some stuff. Uh, ASM teaches you how to find the best products on Amazon.com that are already selling well. That's the first part you want to do. Okay? They teach you how to go through there, find stuff that's already selling. There's no reason to recreate, recreate the wheel. When Roy started selling the radar detectors, I'm sure he had no clue how much or how many they were selling online. Right? On Amazon.com, we can get a pretty good idea based on what things are ranking, how many a day are selling. And then we, they teach you how to market to beat your competitors, which is really not that hard. It's just a matter of knowing how to do it. And then how to make Amazon do all the work for you. Today I didn't. <laughs> but the majority, I had, you know, we have over 100 orders on the ship today. I, don't, I didn't touch one of them. You know, they get shipped every single day from FBA, which stands for Fulfilled by, by Amazon. Okay. They do all our shipping for us, and all the merchant account stuff that's all done through Amazon. <clears throat> How to duplicate your, your efforts to build long-term residual profits, and much, much more. That's just a little introduction about ASM. And then we also have a personal guarantee to you, which they also have a guarantee as well. Just, you know, when they launch this course, you'll learn all about their stuff that, uh, that they guarantee, and uh, it's, it's a full guarantee, basically. If you don't succeed, you'll get your money back with this course. Okay. Um, well, our goal here today is to teach you some skills that you can actually start making money prior to the course launching. Because I, everyone's here to make some money. Yes. So I'm going to go over some things here in a minute to show you how to make some money today if you want to start learning how to do that. And then, then if you want to learn how to really take the next level, then you might want to look at pursuing this course because it's the best thing going. Uh, let's see. So personal guarantee to you is every secret strategy that we personally do. All right, we're going to be sharing with you on how to do it on Amazon. We give you in-depth training over and beyond what they do on ASM and how to dominate on Amazon. And we do all this stuff. I see we're in person doing this today with live training. We do our team. Uh, we do live functions and everything. Uh, next time we're going to be doing it with Robert Kiyosaki. We're going to have a two-day function, just our private team event. And uh, we teach you how to achieve your six-figure business. And um, you know, this is our personal success guarantee for you that we'll make sure that we make it happen for you. In fact, I even write it when you actually purchase the course that if you don't achieve things, if you don't like this, you know, it doesn't work out for you, I'll buy it back from you. I'll buy back the course from you. You know why? Because I know that someone else wants that course. In fact, right now I have, how many people do we have, Mary, that, that say, hey, do you have the course for sale? There's three there. At least three. Um, I don't have any <laughs> right now. Yeah, we have to wait for it to launch. But if we did, I would buy it back from one person and sell it to the other because I know that there's people going to take this and run with it. It's just that I, we see it all the time. So, we offer, like I said, a personal guarantee. Will these things play through? Do you have uh, the audio on this? Uh, no, there's no way. Okay. Well, then there's, well, there's a scene around. What I'll do is I'll point you to a page where you can see some of these testimonials uh, of people that have had tremendous success with what we're doing. So let me just show you something right now. I'm just going to go into Amazon.com and show you some stuff. So you, what you're connecting the internet, right? Uh, yeah. Anyone here, Firefox? Firefox. And just open on that. Okay, so how many people in here have not bought from Amazon? Everyone's bought from Amazon, right? How many people are Amazon Prime members in here? Not everybody, really. Yeah, we are because we get things shipped to our house almost every day. <laughs> Seriously, me too. Um, how often do I go to the store? 
You don't know hardly. Ever. <laughs> and very soon here, Amazon Fresh is going to become available, and that is where you can order something, and two hours later, your food will be shipped to your door as well. I don't want to be in the food market. Uh, but so, how, you know, how do we get right? You know, how, how do we find stuff, first of all, that, that's, that's working, and then how do we get there, right? The first thing we want to do is actually, I'm not sure the direct link for it, so I'm going to just do a Google search. But Amazon has a thing called the uh, the top selling list. Does it, anyone know that that exists on Amazon? The basic the way of SC, I don't know the direct the, the, the link. I just go find it. This part here is very important, so you know, take some notes. Amazon top 100 sellers. That's oh, right here. Sorry, right there. Amazon.com slash bestsellers, whatever. So this takes you to a page which shows you Amazon's bestseller list. Now the first one <coughs> is going to be all their stuff, but everything's broken down into categories here on the left. Now there's going to be things that we can sell, and there's going to be some things that we don't want to sell. All right, the business model, and these are things you're going to learn in the course. And like Roy said, this is I'm going to start talking stuff and exactly how to do this. I'm not there's no whole bars. No, I'm not holding any bars back here. This, holding no bars back. That's what I'm trying to say. It's been a long day. Anyway. What we're looking for is we're looking for things that are light, that are small, that are in a range that we can afford. Usually a selling price of between seven and forty dollars. Okay? Why light and small, do you think? <coughs> Cheap to ship. Cheap to ship, exactly. All right. Um, we're not we're looking for things that are brandable, things that we can put our own label on. Alright, so we they, it's called OEM for short. Okay, where we can actually put our own name onto things. All right, those are some of the key things that we want to look for. Um, I'm going to go into an area here. Just, we're gonna, I'm just going to, I haven't done this in a while, so we're going to see some things we can find. I don't like it. So, real question on that top list, is it breaking it down for first per category? Yes, it does. So, yeah, let's go into. You can't into, just see first across all categories? Uh, this is the all, all categories. So, if you oh, scroll so down, is there more? Because I only see the same product twice. Right. Now. Well, this is because that's the top selling product on all of Amazon. Sure, so do they keep going with that without you having to go into the category specific? It does, specific? we want to go into categories. Okay. All right, because you don't want to try to sell, I mean, those are on the radar. No, I, okay. Yeah, you want to find things that are... I meant like if you keep scrolling there, is there more yeah, below yeah, that? Yeah, they're down here. Okay, there's plenty of things. See, there's a the camera and phone. They just give me a little So they're saying shots. one, two per category versus flat out across all categories. That's the way they're doing it right now. They must have changed that recently. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to go, I'm just going to pick a category that I have no clue about. No, not books. Not we don't books. want to do books. You don't want books? Because books are not just beauty. Books and stay away from How about the beauty? Like the yeah. beauty area. We do beauty. I'm going to pick baby. Baby, okay. <laughs> All right, and I'm just going to go through this now. The I've done this with, with our team before, and uh, my thinking as you hear me talk this through is very valuable. All right, just so you know. It might not make total sense to you now, but people have learned how to do this just by listening how I talk this through. All right? So, and we are recording this, so hopefully we'll have it posted where you guys can see it as well. All right, but I'm going to go through here, and I'm looking for things that fit the criteria that we're talking about, and that things that could be brandable. Sure. I just lost my mind. Right. Okay. So, Baby Einstein. We, no, ba that's that's a brand name. We don't want to do that. Uh, baby Banana Bendable Training Toothbrush. All right. This is something that. If you're looking for a baby banana toothbrush, or if you're looking for a baby toothbrush, are you looking for a particular brand usually? No. Not usually, right? That's one of the things, okay? If you're not out there searching for a brand, that might be something that you can market. All right? So let's take a look at this. So I actually go into the listing, and I'm looking for different things here. Do they have professional pictures? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. They do a good job of pictures. Do they have a really, a, you know, a nice title? Where it's about 250 characters long, and they're really hitting on all keywords. No, mm -hmm. they're not. I can't even tell. Probably their main keyword here is the training toothbrush. Uh, my guess is that's the main keyword right there. Okay, they do have a lot of reviews, but they can do much better on the title. So based on looking for things, can this be beat? All right, and the answer on this one, in the area of title, yes. They have some good bullets there. That's nice. I want to look at their description down here. And see if they have an HTML description, or do they have things jumbled together? And they have really see they have a picture description. So that's a nice description they have in there. And then I want to check to see what their ranking is, which is we call BSR for short, which is best seller ranking across the Amazon category that they're in. 
and for some reason, I'm, not, I'm actually going to pick the smaller one. This is the seller's ranking? Correct. How do you uh, do it control the uh, minus, but it's not shrinking it down? It should be the scoreboard on the bottom of the control. Yeah. Let me do, uh, I'm trying to make it a little smaller. Usually on the line, it's a <coughs> control minus, and it says it down. <coughs> there it goes. Okay. So let's see. All right, see this right here? It says additional information. All right. They have a 4.6 star rating, which is really good. It shows what they're ranking here. They're number two in all of baby. All right. Now, do you think that other people are going to try and do this? Probably, because they're, you know, they're right there. When I'm looking for a BSR, I'm looking for something that is not going to be as much competition that I can actually beat somebody. So usually I'm looking, I want to see something outside the top 100. So I'm just giving you, I'm just showing you how some of the things that we're looking for, we're looking for a product. All right, so this is something you could probably beat, but it'd be a lot of work and it's on the radar. So when all these people come in from ASM, they're like, oh wow, this is a big toothbrush, let's do it. And so if I went through right now and I did a search for the training toothbrush and all baby, it'll show me all the people that are trying to do baby toothbrush. And there's a lot. See all the, see all the bananas in there? Are they coming up with the concept themselves or finding it with their own supply chain? Well, first, right now, we're looking for a problem. Okay, for, we're, looking, we're looking for an opportunity, but I can tell you. We're looking for, well, not a popular product, but something that's selling well with not so much competition. So, as I expected, see all these bananas here? There are people that are trying to duplicate the same thing. And because someone had a question about what if they're all the same seller. If you look at them, they'll tell you what sellers are selling. And there will be different sellers that <laughs> sell the same baby toothbrush. True. So, if you look at this first one here, it says that they're just doing by baby banana. So, that's the only seller for that. But, let me see if I see one here, like, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. You see where it says 72 offers? Yeah. There's 72 people, different companies, trying to sell and get the buy box for that one product. That's a lot of competition. We personally would stay away from that because we want low hanging fruit. What you want is you want to be where it says, like this one here, see there's no one, there's no other offers? Because this little snoots, which they've trademarked, this is a, someone that's doing it correctly. This is someone that's made their product where no one else can duplicate it. They call it Little Snoots. Uh, they are doing a terrible job on the title, <laughs> but at least they have their own brand. There's no one else selling their product. What would you call a good uh, brand and a title? There? I would. Uh, that's a good question. I would pack it in there with a lot of keywords, making it sound really good, and also have some kind of guarantee that you're offering the title. All that stuff is done. Wait, say that again. So, you want it, you get you have a certain amount of you have about 250 characters to work with in your title. Okay, your title. One of the main things about your title, first of all, obviously, is when people come to you see your product. That's one of the first things they see, right? Uh, also, that helps you rank. So, the title is the most important thing in your Amazon listing. So, the more keywords you have, the higher it's, you have a higher likelihood of ranking at Google. You have a higher likelihood of ranking at Amazon. I, you know, more people are going to see your stuff, more people see your stuff, more likely you're going to sell your stuff. Right. So anyway, so this person is doing a good job, but they're in a very competitive market because, you see, their main keyword is baby toothbrush, where they're not even going after the keyword, which was training toothbrush. So that question, to answer your question there, and I don't know what just happened there, it jumped to baby feeding. Um, I would write that keyword baby training toothbrush because now you are hitting two different keyword phrases with the same beginning of the phrase. Does that make sense? You can even put baby toothbrush, comma, training toothbrush. Well, yeah. it's toothbrush twice, we only use one, it's toothbrush once. Right. So well, you don't want to do She's case. right for Google. What's that? For, for Google. She's right for Google. This is how I teach it. Trust me. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not trying to put my wife down. Uh, but baby training toothbrush or baby toothbrush for training or something would, would work better. You don't ever want to uh, duplicate keywords in your title because you only have 250 characters to work with. They've okay. kind of hung up on it's just it's the same product as the other one. So how, how do they get it made? There's one manufacturer, right? Um, there's, there's many multiple, manufacturers. Multiple sellers. But see, the thing is that this product right here is it's not like it's trade it's not trademarked by any company. Anybody can make okay. it. Anyone can make that. Exactly. 
Uh, the model here, actually, though, is what I always, what I like to do is I like to change it to make it better. So I don't recommend this. They have, they have a start. They're obviously not an ASM student because they're not doing the title correctly. They're probably not marketing correctly. Yet they are still in the top. What, what were they? Top four for that keyword. And what was the competition? You said there were seventy-two. Other sellers. Yeah, other sellers down here. Which shows. Well, we went to Ali Bottom right now. He's probably signed up twenty so far. Exactly. So this is this. They're ranking number six for training toothbrush, and they're in the top thousand. And they're doing quite well for not doing much. They have 37 reviews, which means they pretty much just started selling this product not too long ago, because they only have 37 reviews. So they have been able to get to the top of this keyword for training toothbrush uh, by not doing much. So not bad, I wouldn't recommend it. So we're going to, and I know there's a lot of questions, I'm, let me, I've got a lot to go through. So there's a lot of, going to be a lot of questions here. And just so you know, I'm just giving you guys an introduction to what this is, because I have no way I can teach you everything in an hour. I just can't do it. Okay, this is, this is something we've learned over a year and a half, <laughs> a year and a quarter. So, um, but I'm talking this through, so I just want to show you guys some ideas of how you can go out there and find some stuff. So let's, let's scroll down this top 100 list for baby. And just so you know too, inside of baby, there's other specific categories as well. So let's go into gifts. All right, let's look here. So they have this teething keys. Teething keys is a popular item, right? Uh, how many different things could you design and colors you think you can make with a teething ring or teething key? A lot, right? Because all you have to do is find a supplier and say, I want this. And you know this thing right here, number four, so easy to make. And it's very cheap to make. You know, where to, you could have you could have something totally created. If you're if you're I mean if you want to take something and say, hey, I want teething rings are actually really good. I want to try something, I like this design, you send it out to one of the factories that we I'll show you how to find here in a minute. They ask them to make this for you, and then boom, you have your own product up, no one else is selling that product. Uh, good question. You put your disclaimers for the liabilities, and it's all covered. Amazon covers all that. Amazon has all this. Everything through Amazon is, is covered. You don't have to worry about liabilities. Yeah, but you still put your disclaimers on your box. So the we're looking at different rattles and rings. Every every everything we see on this page here fits our criteria, except maybe this. Uh, no, flow bottle is fine too. You can make bottles as well. But just going through and looking at what's here, these are very easy to find and make and you'll learn the course how to go through and find these products and then learn how to sell them. Not nine and ten, probably not. Okay, those are, you know, Phillips and Johnson's, so you don't want to be doing that stuff. But, uh, you know, we have rings, we have uh, different feeding sets, we have uh, spin, was it spin shine, rattle? I've never seen that before. That's probably something that someone created, right? They're selling for four bucks, that's kind of a waste because I'm sure they can sell for more than that. But another thing too, one thing that, that we teach, in, well, ASM teaches, but I definitely teach with our people, is we teach people, I, and I teach them all the time, and we do this ourselves. We do, we look for the premium product. I want to design the best possible product I can with the best possible premium <coughs> packaging. I offer the best customer support, and then I can demand them the best price, the price as well. So prices I see on here, I'm always like, oh, I'll charge whatever for that. You know, um, Roy said that he was selling something, or he was getting something for 30 some odd cents, and it's only for nine bucks. Okay, I get things all day long for you know five to ten bucks, and some for fifty to sixty bucks. It's just what it is. It, there's the demand for it. So let's just look. I'm just gonna go through here and let's just grab the keyword teething ring. Yeah. Sure. In other words, you're creating a product that you want, and you're actually setting a contract. You don't set a contract at all. You, you just buy whatever you need, and there's no contract. So you're buying an existing product. You can buy an existing product, or you can change it and make it better, which is what you, we tend to do. What we do is, we just, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but we'll go through and find a product that works, and then I'll test it with something that already exists, <coughs> and when I find out it's actually going to work, then we make it better. That's kind of the thing. Uh, how many products we have? Five? Uh, yeah, the variations. Yeah, different variations of some stuff. Yeah. He's, you know, threw out there that we're doing some iPhone cases, which he shouldn't have said. 
but uh, that's okay because that's the iPhone cases that we sell is actually our biggest nightmare, which is what we've been dealing with, and we're actually getting away from those cases. So I'll share with you all day that we're doing those things, but uh, we're no, there's better opportunities in that. I mean, we I love the technology, um, I love the, my gadgets and stuff like that, and uh, the problem is that with technology, the average consumer is not very smart. I don't. No offense to anyone in here, <laughs> uh, but the, most of the customers, you know, you have to spoon feed them exactly how to do it. And they rather send them, you know, a return back than actually the videos that I put together for them to see. So it's what it is. So anyway, I thought look for a teething ring, and what came up here is some examples of teething rings. So this first one here is Munchkin. So you know, so these are very cheap. I'm looking for something that's at least seven dollars, and they're not. But if you look for number four here, you know, we have a multi-century silicone teething, and they are at 15 bucks, right? Then you have this one over here, we have a four count one that's for 20 bucks. Notice that they're a number one bestseller tag. Most likely, they are number one for baby, baby teether. Just for kicks. Baby teether, is that how it's spelled? <clears throat> that's not what they're number one for. Well, they're number one for something, otherwise, uh, they wouldn't be showing number one bestseller in there. But anyway, uh, they are number six. Let's click on this one. Let's see. Baby mm -hmm. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah. See, I'm not even that smart with these things. So they're a bestseller based off of that keyword phrase. Is that what they're isolating? Right. There? They are number one bestseller off of this category that they're in, which is right here, teething relief. Okay. Okay. Baby. And so they're, they're in the cat subcategory teething relief. Is they're teething number one. relief in their title up there? Uh, that's a good question. I don't so think they're, ranking, no, they're ranking it high for a keyword that's not in their title. They have teether, they have relief, relief. there's no teething relief. <laughs> interesting. It is very interesting. But they did take a spot for a star, that helps. Correct. You know what I said? They have, and they, they have 202 reviews and almost a five star product. Look at that. So this is one that, that would, I would be interested in looking deeper into. And not me, because I don't want to do baby stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but my wife, see, the funny thing is, we actually work together. And uh, she actually, she's launching, what, two products right now? Yeah. And uh, I have nothing to do with it, you know, because I'm dealing with, well, I'm doing all the teaching stuff. But um, she's been doing it off on her own, and so these things, we don't have a brand for baby yet, so we would have to go through and do a whole new brand, and so it's a little more work. But uh, if she wants to do it, that's great. Because whenever we brand something, we take it, and we go to the lawyer, we register it, we trademark it, we do all of it. Which is not something you have to do in the beginning. No. But you do, do it later to protect your brand. But we make sure we protect our brand. So this one is, is inside of 1200 and baby for ranking. More, most likely they're probably selling 35 to 40 of these a day. Okay? It would be my estimate. They're selling for 20 bucks. Probably they're able to get this in stock in Amazon with the shipping for maybe 4 bucks, and they're selling for 20 bucks. After Amazon fees and everything, they're probably making a good 50% now. Okay? So if you figure, let's say 35 orders a day over um, a month, you know, what do you think they're making a month? They would have a calculator on them. Uh, let's say they're making, let's, let's say 30, 30 maybe. Times. So 30, 20, you're making 10 bucks a day, 10 bucks, 30, 300, 600 dollars a day, 600 times 30 days would be 18,000 for this one problem. That would be my estimate of what they're making right now. Can this be duplicated very simply? Sure can. They do have a pretty good title. They do have good professional pictures. Uh, they're missing a lot of keywords in their title, they're though. Missing keywords. They do have good pictures. They are they do a great job. That's how I would recommend how to do the bullet points. And their description is terrible. Is there a ramp up period when you release a new product that you're trying to compete against? Since you don't have reviews yet and you don't have any we feedback have a whole on that product, to do that. is there the, what's oh, the yeah. ramp up period like? Um, it's it depends on each product, but it's just a step-by-step -step process that we follow. Um, like I said, with this, with this ASM, I mean, we're going to teach you guys stuff today that you guys can take and actually find some products and run with right away if you wanted to. Uh, but the whole process through ASM is taught step by step by step by step. And the reason why I have people that have not succeeded is because they haven't been able to follow step-by-step -step system. They can't follow directions, and they try to do something outside the box, and there's no reason to use have to follow the thing. Because some people are like, oh, what about competition? I can't. The chance of you guys finding the same product in this room is very slim with all the millions of products that are out there. And on top of that, if we all in this room were to focus on this teething ring or some kind of teething solution, we would all come up with something different and we probably would all succeed. 
because we'd all come about it from a different angle because there's so all those millions of people daily that are on Amazon searching for these products. Amazon has all the customers. That's why this, this opportunity is so huge and it's only going to get bigger. Okay, that's how you find a product. Here's how you find a product sell question. So if you go to Alibaba, I'm not spelling anything right here. Okay, this is just one site to find products. Okay, you guys know Alibaba has become very big. In fact, it's probably only a matter of time before they start having some kind of setup competing with Amazon. Okay, along with some other sites, which is fine because. I'm okay with that because the more places we have to sell our product with those customers there, the more places the more places we're going to make sales, right? So it's a good thing. Competition is actually a good thing. So we're looking for a baby baby teething ring. That's what Roy was talking about. Wait to see how many things come up for this. 1666 products just for baby baby teething. And these are more what wholesalers that are looking to sell volume. These bonds. are yeah, these are the suppliers. Factories usually, sometimes middlemen, you have to weed them out. Uh, again, we teach you how to do all that stuff, but you can go through here and uh, what I would suggest that you do is somewhere on here, again, I haven't done this in a while, but there's a way to uh, narrow it down because there's somewhere it says, uh, oh, here we go. I'm looking for gold suppliers, which means that, that Alibaba has actually gone through, they've been with them at least a year, and they verified that these are good suppliers. Well, you got to so, do the on-site check. I want on-site check because I know that they've been checked on-site by Ali Alibaba. And you could do assess supplier as well or trade rate assurance. I don't really worry about that. But see, now we narrowed it down to, we only got rid of 45. So all those suppliers, are, they're pretty good suppliers. We've only got rid of 45 bad ones. Well, this is a bad ones, ones that are maybe new that haven't heard those things yet. So you go through down here and you say, okay, you know, what, we know we want to do a baby teethering. What, what kind do we want to do? We have some plain ones in here. We have different colors. We have different strings. Okay, there's one right there that we we're just talking about, right? They have sixty cents to a dollar piece, depending on how many pieces. This is minimum order five hundred. Now, don't worry about that. I can show you how to get a test order for a hundred uh, or fifty, even. All right, just because they have a minimum, uh, and we call it MLQ minimum order quantity, you can uh, do much better than that. Uh, if you don't have much to spend. But even still, 500 pieces at a dollar piece is $500. So these are suppliers you submit your modification to? You would after you test it. So the way we do here is we just go to contact supplier and I would email. And I would send email, 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 until I get a good response back from questions that we you know, tell people how to say, you know, stuff what we're looking for. You know, um, we are looking for this, do you have that? Uh, or can you supply me, you know, how long does it take to ship it, you know, what kind of shipping prices we talk about, all this stuff. And it's pretty consistent usually. And usually it's picking the one that you feel really comfortable with. You know, one that you feel that the people are being honest with you, that, uh, you know, they uh, have said some things that they, they speak good English, that they can communicate well with you, they can get something to you in a timely manner, they might be able to get you a nice packaging, so different things that we look for. So is the gist of a test order simply mean that you've reached out to them and said, hey, look, I see your quantity is 500, but I want to test to make sure your product's even going to work, it's right, it's nice, Correct. please get a, a you know, a Correct. order. And the way I come about it is I say, hey, look, um, I am a multi-million dollar seller online, and we're looking to expand to a new product. Sure. And we would like to test this order. I, you know, I would like to. I, I don't want to see. They, any one will do like one product, one, one for you. Sure. But the thing is, you're, you're going to get it for uh, you know, a couple bucks. But then they're going to charge you, you know, 50, 60 bucks to ship it because that's how much it costs to ship. I would rather get a hundred of them for a hundred bucks and you know, it's going to be about seventy dollars to ship. That's what we do. Mary just ordered. We just sent money for a new product today. We did a hundred. And we didn't brand it with anything. We're just going to try it out, put it up there. If it works, then we'll start branding and doing stuff after that. So the now second step is to go in here, contact suppliers, and find a supplier that you want to work with, and someone that can create something. Maybe uh, create uh, something. A little tip here, you know, when you contact suppliers, learn a little bit about the lingo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, because if you come off like a stupid American, <laughs> you're going to get the stupid American pricing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, if you come off like what a term he just used, you know, uh, MLQ, minimum order quantity, learn some of the terms and sprinkle those in there. Then we say, okay, this sounds like somebody that's for real, okay? Um, and one thing I find, you know, hey, you know, we're looking at changing our supplier, we're looking for a long-term relationship. I'll put that in there because Chinese are very big in relationships. Um, and, uh, and I also ask them, 
you know, that I wanted, I tell them very clearly in the beginning that I want to communicate on Skype, not by email. Mm -hmm. Because by email, you're just going back, it'll take two weeks to come up with something. <laughs> Skype in the evening, you get knocked it out right then and there. Yeah. So just a little tip, spend some time and learn the lingo. Question, um, if you come up with a modification, what's the likelihood of, I don't know the likelihood, but um, what about patent infringement? <laughs> You want to make sure that you're doing stuff that does not have any patent infringements. So yeah, that's something that again is, is thought because you want to, you, if there's something that you can do a search very easily and see if there's any patents on something because if there is, then you need to do, what is it, 10% different? 10% different. 10% different. different. So can you change something 10% up and make it so it's not then a patent infringement? Okay. And a little bit more complex. What's that? Or just change it up. That's what I'm saying, change it up. So you, there's, is it, I don't know what this is right here. It's a master. All I see that you're trying to stop. Okay. <laughs> so you said something that I felt was maybe significant, but sure. I couldn't read between Which part? Lines. You said you didn't do any branding. Correct. So what kind of packaging are you Good they point. Doing? Good question. Okay. That's, a, that's an awesome question. This is very ghetto. And this is how easy it is to succeed in this business because if you can do what we did, then you can succeed with the way we have. Our, our very first orders, and this is why I recommend to people, is you order it in their generic packaging, right? You whatever brand that you come up with, you put a address. Did you do this? You put, I, I make header cards for mine. So I put my plastic bags. I make a header card and I print it out. We printed we printed address labels with our brand name and stuck them on there manually and the hundred products sent them to Amazon. Sounds like an eBay power sale. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. And that's how we did it. Once it started selling well, our next order, we said, okay, now we want to brand the products this way. And that's another question, too. Whenever you go to Alibaba, you want to make sure that you're asking them that they can do private labeling. That's a very important right, part. Quick, quick question. When you, pick a, when you pick it, somebody on Alibaba and you order, a, let's say, a beta run and it turns out well, and then you say, you know what, I want to modify this, how do you know that that particular manufacturer modifies it all? Is there anything that lets you know whether or not they make You can get different product? samples. You can get uh, different supplier samples, and then you know. Uh, you can first order the sample, go with that, and then ask them how to change it. You know, go change it after you know after the fact. So you just ask so, them flat out. And how, how often, in your experiences, do you find that they say yes? We do make modifications for you. We do all the time. All, so that usually every single product buyer is better. Uh, okay. Let me put a caveat on that. Sometimes yeah. it costs you money. Yeah, oh, sure. So or a minimum or a higher minimum order volume or something. That's correct. Yeah. 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 yeah usually there'll be something for a uh, to, especially for private label too. Yeah. They might say that you know we need in order to print this private label for you we have to do two thousand labels. Sure. Or, I'm, I'm say, okay, that's fine. We're thing. only going to order a hundred, and then you can save those labels from we do get to that down the road. So that's there's, there's ways around. So you don't have to order the two thousand, but their labeling company that they go through has to do a certain minimum order for that. Great question. Uh, this is one of our uh, our team website that we have here. It's a private site. You guys cannot get access to it, but uh, you you would if you purchase the program later. The uh, we have these files in here. So I'll show you this real quick. What uh, Roy was talking about here. We have all our files, all our webinars that are in here. One of the things we offer is our swipe emails for suppliers. And these are the exact emails that we use when we communicate with the supplier on Alibaba. Every single time. <coughs> so as it connects here, I'll show you what the first one is. And you see how it compares to, to, uh, to what you do. So this is a person that we wrote to. Hi, Abby Chang. Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing well. My name is Dave Kettner, and I'm the owner of whatever company we're talking about located in the United States, or company markets. Many products to our customers where we do lots of volume of sales. So I'm showing right now that we're a big company. We are currently looking to expand to new products that are interested in this product that you manufacture. Awesome, whatever it is, you know, whatever the best selling, whatever the name of the product is. We focus on finding the best quality products at the best prices and are looking for a manufacturer that we can establish a long working relationship with. Can you please send us a price quote for, for, per product for a 5,000 unit order? Because I'm showing them that that's what I'm going to be ordering. So I want to know what the price quote is going to be for that. We'd like to see several more picture examples if you have them available along with pictures of the packaging that you put this product into. Please provide us with a shipping quote for this order, time to manufacture, shippers you use, as far as like DHL, UPS, that sort of thing, um, and forms of payment that you accept. We're located in Kings, Arizona, so please quote the estimate shipping charge to this city in the United States. Please also let us know if you're able to do private labeling at your location and this service will be included in our price. 
I look forward to your prompt reply and developing a long working relationship, long lasting working relationship together with you and your company. And you can reach me directly at my email and Skype. As, and uh, that's my username for Skype. Make it a wonderful day. That's what we do. And now we are first starting off, you still say you have a big company. That's the exact same email I sent right there. Because I was portraying what we were going to do. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything deceptive I do, that would be the only thing. <laughs> uh, but I always did it because that's what I did. Do, do we do 5,000 orders right now, Mary? Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Eventually, you did. You started. Exactly. Because that's what we, you know, we move forward with that product, that's what we're doing. So that's how to find the, um, to find the product. So then the next thing is to order the product, have it shipped. The first order you want shipped to your location, right? So you can go through and you can actually take, you know, take pictures. We took the pictures and then we sent them to Fiverr, this is what we used to do. Uh, for five bucks we have people make a professional pictures of our, uh, of our product. So like this right here, that's not a good picture because you want it on a pure, clean, white background. So you go to Amazon, you'll see like this, it's pure, clean, back, white background. There's people on Fiverr that do that for five bucks for five pictures. Somebody's ten. Okay? You pay someone to do it. You know, I'll take the picture in-house and then I'll have someone do that for us. Now I have someone that we have an outsource that does it for us. Okay? Um, then we put the labels on our thing. We just our first order. Okay? And then we ship it out to FBA, Amazon, and it's all done through Amazon Summer Central. Okay? While that's happening, while we're waiting for the order, we do the marketing, we write the, we do the keyword, certain, you know, the keyword uh, we go through and see what the best keywords are. From those keywords, we write our title, we do our description, we do our bullet points, we do all, all the, you know, the benefits and the features for the product, uh, all that stuff. Our guarantees, all that we do while we're waiting. By the time it gets to Amazon, we're ready to start marketing. We do press releases, we do articles, we do videos, none of which we usually do ourselves. Again, it can all be outsourced for five bucks on fire, uh, or you can pay someone in the Philippines about you know, three fifty to five hundred dollars a month to work forty hours a week for you to do this stuff for you, and uh, and that's what we do. That's our business model. Uh, we've been able to achieve what we've been able to achieve doing exactly what I just showed you. In your course, you teach all of that. What's that? In your course, you teach that. Whole it's not my course. It's ASM's course. Okay. Uh, even though I'm going to be helping them, train. you know, train, but it's it's not my course. Uh, oh, I just right. you're, you're, you're going through each of those steps. Correct. Yes, everything is everything step by step by step, and if there's pieces that we feel that have been missed, we go through and we do that in our bonus. And before I show this, uh, this is stuff that I'm really partnering with uh, with Roy on. If you go to Google and you do a search, when it comes up, ASM is the course. You can do amazing selling machine. Doesn't matter. It'll come the same. And do a search for bonuses. Ah, I dropped. I'm number four. <laughs> it was number one <laughs> last week. I was like, check it out, number one. Wait a second, I'm not happy now. What was the day's bonus? Sure Yesterday's number one. Dang. <laughs> All right, okay, got some work to do. Anyway, if you go to DaveKenner.com, that one right there, this is the bonuses that we offered last time to give you an idea of what we do to support our people. So basically, you're purchasing the program anyway. If you purchase it through what Roy is going to share with you next month, then you know, Roy will get an affiliate commission from that, and I'll actually get a part of the commission. I'll be totally upfront with you. We get a one-time commission on that. Uh, but because we do that, we then provide you with all these different bonuses. Uh, this is what we offered last time. We're going to have more this time. Uh, but we go through, and you can look at the stuff that we offered last time. We actually have this, this really good webinar that we did over two hours. It talks about ASM in and out, and the guarantees, all that stuff is in there. But these are some of the things we offer. We do a live training events, like I said. We do the uh, eight-week mastermind training webinar series. We have our face. We have, well, we're going to do it with the Skype group. We don't really use it. But we have a Facebook group that has all that information in there, and we go, you know, this collaboration like we wouldn't believe. Interviews. We do. Uh, we teach you how to do. In addition to what ASM teaches you, we teach how to find the best product. We have software as well if you want to use it. I like to not use the software myself because I like to go through and there's certain things I'm looking for that software can't find. Uh, we teach you how to outsource from China. We have an expert that teaches you that. We have other tools that help you gain an unfair advantage over the competition. We have uh, we teach you how to do business funding. One thing you're going to find with um, with running doing this kind of business, you're going to need to scale so quickly that you won't have the cash flow to maintain it. So we teach people how to get business funding as well. 
and uh, how to be more productive. Uh, it's one thing that I need more time with. Just uh, I need more time in a day, right? We can, this will be teaching how to become more productive with the time that you do have. We have our own sales contest. We, the guy that, uh, that won our contest last year, he just started making his first sales after Christmas, and by February 3rd, he did $57,000 in sales. Just start. He won a laptop from us in an hour of our time. We consulted with him. Uh, we do ongoing stuff. I just did a training video with our team last Wednesday evening. Course has been over for two and a half months, and we still continue to do training with them. Uh, new strategies and stuff that have been working, we keep them ongoing, what's happening. And um, we have the personal success guarantee, the $1,000 I was telling you about, plus our you know, personal guarantee that if the course doesn't work for you, I'll buy it off. It's basically that simple. Now, the course last time, this is not a cheap course, just so you know. It is this, like the, free, is this the pre intro to ASM? Because I, I feel like I'm almost like at an ASM <laughs> advertisement group rather than. I'm going to show you what we offer. I want to know more sources. Yeah, here. no, there's. <laughs> it's, so I'm going show you about the course because this is going to come out next month. I've okay? But so you can get more information with that. Because we are not. We have nothing to sell you here tonight. Yeah, There's nothing to sell. But this is coming out next month, just so you know. That's awesome. So, just to be clear, you know, when the ASM launches, there's going to be a lot of noise on it. You know, there's going to be a lot of people selling this stuff. The advantage of going through with David, David is local here, okay? He lives here in Missouri, all right? He's, you're going to be able to reach out and talk to him. I, I mean, the, the whole key of being successful on Amazon is having somebody like David on your team to help you, all right? That's an email away, a Facebook page away. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that's going to be selling the ASM training course. Most of them are going to take your money as their affiliate fee and not give you anything in return. David, or Dave, yeah, that's is, going right. to, is going, <laughs> David is going to give you back something in return. His, you know, his commitment in helping you be successful. And so what what, I, what we shared with you tonight, like I said, you're going to have a recording. You'll have access to the recording yeah. when uh, Roy puts it up. The information I shared with you is enough for you to go out and make that extra $1,000 a month. That information alone. You would have more information than what we shared tonight than most people selling on Amazon. That you can take it and go out and run with it. And I'm sure that you know if you're, you're part of Roy's group, that you can send some questions to Roy. Right? Say, hey Roy, what do you think of this or whatever? And he'll point you in the right direction. You can make good money just doing what we shared with you today. All right? If you then want to take it to the next level, you're going to want to have something like ASM. So let's take some questions. Jason. I have a few questions. One is, how many center companies we have one seller account. I do know other people that have like a, a seller account for each brand. Uh, we are running our, our multi million dollar business with just one right now. Yeah, every time. That's ASM's intro. <laughs> 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 All right. Change the point of this course. Yes, I'm back. How many products did you test? How many times did you test? Test? Yeah. Um, there, when we, let me see, add the products, just take your volume. We, uh, very rarely do we ever not, like everything I think we've ever tested, I think we've moved forward with, with the product. Uh, later on, we've actually had products that we've discontinued, uh, but we've always, every test that we've ever done, we've moved forward with more volume after that. So, uh, there is, the stuff that we've gone through and found to sell, based on all the criteria, the things that we're just talking about, uh, we never um, have had a bad order yet. We did have um, a, a company that we sent money to that never actually delivered on their product, but then Alibaba backed us up and we ended up eventually get that money back. So, yes? Next question is uh, the payment type. What's the more safe? Um, Good question. With Alibaba, they have a way that you can do it. Uh, I forget what it's called on Alibaba. I've never used it. I tend to use PayPal usually. If you go to China, they'll want you to send a Western Union or a, uh, a money transfer. I always try to start with just a, a PayPal, if possible, because then you're backed out with PayPal. And then when you know what you're doing, we tend to do most of our stuff through uh, bank transfers. So I go to Chase and we send, you know, whatever. When you establish a relationship, you can trust them more. But you were pretty much backed by Alibaba because they get all their business from Alibaba. And if they screw you over and you go back to Alibaba and say, hey, this company screwed me over, then they get cut off from Alibaba. And that's how we got our money back with the other company. I did exactly that with the Alibaba. They cut them off for two months, and then finally they sent me the money. So, yes? Yeah, is it best to um, 
modify something and then run with it, or just run with something that's already out there? It's uh, it's best to run with something that's already out there first and then modify it, because then you have a test first. So be, before you go through and put so much work into a product, you want to actually test it, see if it's working, and then make it better. Well, in my opinion. What about the rights that go to the person that designed what you're running with? Um, everything that's been designed, it's all in China, and they're opening it to everybody. That's it. Now, now, with that said, you can't go ahead and try to sell an iPhone. Now, there, if you go to Alibaba and look for iPhones, there's people, they're, they're, they're selling iPhones. You don't want to go try to mess with that. Right. Okay? But, uh, there's certain things you want to stay away from, that's correct. But most, all the stuff that we showed you on there, the brand. You know, from yeah. personal experience, oh, being in it, doing this for a long time, I try to tend to stay away from electronics. Because a lot of electronics need to be FCC type accepted, all right. Uh, also, electrical type of things that plug into wall sockets because they have to be UL tested. Uh, you know, battery operated stuff. You know, gizmos. It's, you know, just tr tr keep it simple, stupid. You know, the Kiss principle. Yeah. Why not books? So books not brand. It's one. Of, it doesn't fit our criteria. You, the books, you, you have to, again, you're selling someone else's product. Uh, remember on Alibaba, we're looking for things that are, they allow you to brand it. Okay, an author's not going to allow you to brand their book. So, but if you can help market. You can sell Kindle books all day long if you want. I would recommend it. Yeah. Still, you're working really hard for not that much money. I've got a couple of Kindle books and I mean, I mean, you know, 30 bucks a month. I mean, it ain't, you know, worth my not time. Much money. You know, mine would be home improvement books. Those books run hard. You could sell that if you want, but that's not this model product. So, yeah. Um, do you focus on certain category you found that this is the, you know, best market, or you sell whatever the best seller, you know, whatever? I can, we, 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 can, we can stay here for hours, and I can find for you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity in every single category on there. There's so many, the, the, the opportunities are endless. And that's why, you know, there's some people that are like, well, why, why are you promoting to bring more people and teach them how to do it? It's because I'd rather have more sellers that know what they're doing than sellers that are actually in there undercutting people. You know, uh, there's, there's so much opportunity, it's going to continue to have growth. First of all, <coughs> Amazon's super, super simple to sell. I mean, 96, 97% of the Amazon people selling on Amazon today don't have a clue how to sell a product on Amazon, number one. Number two, you know, people ask me, you know, Roy, how do I find something to sell on Amazon? Well, what's your interest? What do you enjoy doing? All right? I like riding my Harley Davidson. All right? So what do I do? I go to automotive motorcycles. What would I want to buy and put on my Harley Davidson? All right? What would I want to wear? What kind of bandana would I want to put on? This is something I'm familiar with. I don't know sh about baby teeth. Products, okay? I'm not going to go on and say, okay, uh, that looks like a great product, David, and I'm going to carry that on Amazon. Because I don't know, have a clue on how to write the content. And I don't have a clue about automotive, which is why when he said that, I was like, I'm thinking right. there's, there's big things, but he's right. But everybody, think of, good. everybody in this room has a passion in doing something. How many people like cooking? Anybody? <laughs> All right. So with that, you, you get these cooking utensils, right? Do you know what cooking utensils? So you go to Amazon and you find some cooking utensils. Any automotive people, like working out, tinkering out cars in here. All right? Somebody said, they, you know, all right, so you look and you find out what you could sell in the automotive niche. Somebody came in here and said they used to work at Ace Hardware for a while. Who was that? All right, you. You know the hardware business. <laughs> you know what sells in the hardware store. So you go to Amazon, you go to the hardware section. It's a no-brainer. You find out what sells. All right. I'll be honest with you. I sell straps. All right. I sell tow straps or motorcycle tie-down straps. Is my best seller. Everybody on Amazon was selling black straps. What did I do different? Okay, I'm I'm orange. Orange. I made them orange. <laughs> and how much oh. you make a month? What, say again. But you were making eighteen thousand dollars a month, twenty-five thousand. Yeah, yeah, I'm making twenty thousand yeah. dollars a month. And the only thing I did is I told the supplier, instead of dyeing them black, make them hardly orange. In three weeks, I went to the Amazon best That's it. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's really All you have to do is think out of the box, make your product unique. And make try not doing everything. Different. Don't do 
everything that everyone else is doing. Okay? There's so many people that it's like, oh, like that, that banana tea thing, right? you see how many there were? That's because they all duplicated the same thing. How about a natural one? You know, whatever, just yeah. pick something different. There, there's, you know, you better put your hand up. How much of your marketing is on Amazon? All of it, right now. And so there's no website, there's nothing. We else. have blog sites set up, but we are not doing really anything with them. <laughs> Which, I'll be I'm honest. It's, we we um, we are setting up an e-commerce store. Uh, I'm actually we just paid ten thousand dollars to go to an event in uh, in New York uh, with Ezra Firestone. And, uh, no one seller right there. We're going to uh, learn how to get our store up because then we're going to have something outside of Amazon. But right now, and, and it's funny because I've been in the internet marketing for so long, bread. I don't use any outside traffic besides what's in Amazon because I don't have time to be honest. Then why do you keep mentioning press releases? Oh, why? That's a good question. Because I pay someone to do it. No, but, but that would typically... Um, I don't have a... You say traffic, I, I think I'd pay traffic. I, when I think but traffic, I, I don't even... Like, he's, he's, a, he's an SEO guy, I'm paid guy. But, uh, but that actually says would drive your page rank on your website. Um, it drives to Amazon. We drive it directly to Amazon. Press releases right to Amazon. And your page on Amazon? Or Our listing. So if you go to Amazon, so he's on his page right here. That URL right there is his URL. His URL minus all the reference at the end. So up to right here, right before the R, uh, REF, everything behind it, you can get rid of it. That is the ASIN number, which is how Amazon determines what the product is, uh, the number specific to your product. Everything before that is the, the link that I would send to promote this product. Now look at my title. Alright? It's huge! I got keywords in there. You should be penalized for that. <laughs> <laughs> this should only be 250 characters. Um, but isn't that arbitrary? That's just an Amazon? Alright, and you know, here's... Okay, you put it in. Hey, you, you, we're going to analyze your thing real quick. Alright, go, go, go. All too late. Alright, go. You know, and this is the packaging. You know, was, the picture comes out. I just get a clear plastic bag, I put the straps in, and I put that header card on it. All right, and that's all I do, dude. And I mean, this, I kill it. All right, all right. There's no reason to put four pack in there. This is wasted space. Somebody a stop word, you don't need it. Uh, if you're going to have an and, you might as well put an ampersand in there. And so you're wasting two characters in there. Uh, and, but see how he says it here twice? This is how he has his, his guaranteed call to action here at the end. Uh, but I would cut some out of that, but he has, you know, his keyword pack in there. So I look at his thing, I said, he's looking for uh, tie-down straps, obviously. Soft loops probably is in there. Uh, is there a percentage that you share? You, know, you, know, you actually need more keywords up Based on the ranges of your sales? Well, that's what changes it. The reason I, I put the arrows in there, because, you know, I had, I'm sure it's great, you know, I had some, somebody go through one of my training, you know, like this, and they knocked me off, all right? They got some cheap straps, all right? So I just came up with, you know, so I did this. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take David's advice and you know, change that. But see, I have all my, this is the, my competitor strap. I put a picture of my competitor strap right there. And I, I put this on a machine. This is where they failed at. This is my strap. And this is where, you know, so I'm directly taking out my competitor. Then I just do this, of those cheap imported nylon accessories. <laughs> You know, some tricks. <laughs> also, stuff is not supposed to be in a picture either. Yeah. But eventually, the thing is with, with Amazon, we always say we, we do something, we ask for a gift for giving us later. Because they're not going to shut him down. They'll send him an email that says, oh, by the way, you're taking the flag for whatever. Uh, you need to change this. And they need to change it. So that works fine. But as long as his, his main image is that one, which doesn't have any writing on it. So that's good. Yes. You mentioned earlier you shared 50% commission. Is it based on your sales? The commission no, I said uh, net of the money. So when we, um, when yeah. he said, he, how much you said you do a month right now? 27? 28? This month we're around, I did $27,000. What's your net of that? After expenses. So we had expenses, we have Amazon seller fees, yeah. which with FBA tends to run near 21, 21.5%, which I'm fine paying that because they give us all the traffic. We have our cost of our product. We have cost of any ads we we're paying for. Mm -hmm. uh, we have any product, you know, any cost that we're maybe paying for uh, outsourcing counts and stuff like that. So net, are you at fifty percent? Oh, I'll that. It's about seventy percent. 
70, so you said 70 percent. So out of the the 20, say, let's say 21 percent of Amazon, nine percent is this product cost, and he's not even paying for ads. I'm not doing any advertising on this whatsoever. I started when I started it. I did some pay per click advertising, but after I got to the top, yeah. it was no need to. So right now, what? How much time you put in this? I think you said you just order. Four hours product. a month. Just the order product. This what, what, I go out. It's you know, I, I, I have people, I have somebody who's come. I, you know, I'm, I'm, everything comes to my house. Everything has to be inspected by me. All right? all right. So I have everything shipped to my house, and then I have. Somebody that, that comes to our house, they spend three days packaging everything up. I paid them eight bucks an hour. All right, they put everything in the box. They put them all. They put them in the big box, and then, you know, and then once a month they go out. Okay, I'm going to take three of these boxes, tape them up. I put the Amazon seal, and I ship them off to Amazon, and that's all I do right now. Is I ship three big cartons to Amazon every month. Um, so who handle the customer service? I've heard the people saying like uh, a lot of times the potential buyer will ask you the seller. Questions. I don't get any questions on this. <laughs> 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 okay. so I this. You get a strap, you put it on your motorcycle, and you set you down. I've never been asked one question about this. Wait, is your seller such a lot down here? If you, if you look down here, it, it is thing down here. It's, you wouldn't right, right, my right cat, I, don't think I, I got about four in there. We, we missed something. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> See what says buyer messages here? There's people that will respond. To, they'll send you messages, and you'll know in here. It'll say one or whatever. Can I click on that? Yeah, go ahead. So if we, and we sell other stuff on here, too, but you can click on it. So we click on it, and it, it would show you the message. Obviously, he doesn't have any right now. But if you get a message, you'd go in here and respond to it. Uh, certain products in here. Don't really like he's it. He doesn't get any questions. It just doesn't require it. The technology stuff that I was telling you about, we get bombarded with customer service. Uh, maybe two hours a day. But I pay someone to do that now. We have a VA that does that. So if we went through over here and we looked at his messages, here was metrics, uh, receive metrics, uh, well, let's take the filter out of the response time. So over the last seven days, he's had six emails. And two were from the same person. That's it. That's the work that you put so in. So you, you pay somebody to do it, you pay somebody here, or you pay somebody in other country? It's up to you. Oh. Uh, we have currently, we put uh, in the motion uh, three people to work for us starting September 1st last year. So we built over to 285000 a month before we finally got support. We were doing all of just marrying them. That's it. Uh, we hired a full-time graphic design person, a full-time backlink specialist, and a full-time uh, VA, and she does all my managing, uh, basically all my marketing managing, and she takes care of the other two as well. So, yeah. I'm okay. oh, sorry. What are some of the other source um, websites for locating the products? Uh, AliExpress. Uh, you can go to the United States. Actually, if you go do a Google search, and you just do whatever your product is, wholesale, uh, supplier, distributor, you can find things that way. There's plenty of factories and suppliers right here in Phoenix for different things. So actually there's a, a company that I've worked with that's where they located now. They're located very close to the airport, just south of the airport, uh, off of Broadway, I believe, and whatever. They have some, uh, some supplement stuff that we did, but I, I haven't moved forward with that. What I'll do a lot of times is I'll order my competitor's products, and a lot of times my competitors will have the manufacturer's name on the inside of the product. Uh, yeah, and you contact them. And you contact them and say, hey, you, you offer you know, private label opportunities, so you know, what's your wholesale prices? So you go from there. Is there any advantage of being uh, in Phoenix that uh, Amazon has to make the distribution no, it's not. center? No, it's not. They tell, Amazon tells us when we have our product, they tell us where to ship it. And uh, very rarely do I ever ship to Phoenix. It just happens to be wherever. It's wherever they need it, wherever they, because their their whole thing is they want to be able to get the product to your their customer as quick as possible. So they'll take it and, and distribute it all across the country at all the warehouses. So they'll put some on the East Coast, some on the South, some on the Midwest, some on the West Coast, all that stuff. And uh, they'll tell us where to send the product. Uh, today, the thing when I send it all went to uh, California, but you know, then they'll take it and send it wherever. So What's your delivery time from China? Uh, about five days. Oh, your air. Air, yeah, you should put a slight, yeah. uh, short, you know, it's a small, light. Yeah. My yeah. straps take four months because I have to order them in a different color. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, yeah, it's product specific, but usually uh, once you get, it, most people do go by air. Some people, you know, get bulky product, you can do it by, by ship, but that takes six weeks. And yeah. because of the strike, things are pretty delayed right now. Yeah. So, yeah, so let's just say you receive your product from Alibaba and um, you packaged it in plastic and you're designing your brand, your label. What, what is the information that you put on the label and what tips do you have in designing the title or making the brand that you want to create? Uh, with, with the name, the name we try to make it memorable, something that's catchy. Uh, you know, it really depends on if you just want to be creative or, or not, really. Okay. Uh, if, if you, you know, some people just call it like, like my name is DK, like DK Enterprise. That, that makes sense. No one's searching for that. You know, we, we have. But you don't want to make it too fancy, right? You don't have to be. You know, but you want to try to do something that's catchy. And you just go through, we actually went through, we came, we, we brainstormed ideas, and then we go to the, uh, on Amazon, see if anyone has it, and then we actually go to the uh, trademark office website, uh, it's a dive-gov website, and we do a search to see if any um, things are branded, if they're trademarked yet. If they're not, we'll go forward with it. Uh, other stuff we put on our label, um, I put, um, I use QR codes, actually, to help get people to build a, uh, a buyer's list. Uh, I offer them different things. Uh, we do the follow-up emails and do that as well. We do, uh, we offer what our guarantees are on the box. We put our contact information. Um, we put the, the uh, actually most of our products we put on there, stop before you install this product, watch this this website video. Because like I said, with my stuff, I gotta teach people how to do it correctly, otherwise they screw it up. Okay. Uh, so you that put, kind of you know, as far as disclamatory, you know, disclaimers or anything like uh, that? Usually that's already done by the company. Usually the factory, they, they, I have not had to write, uh, write that myself. It's been done for me. So the factory provides the packaging. They already have it. And Most do. do. Okay. And then you can add to it. Okay. Also, yeah. I do want to say that when we got anything from China, we did go through things like manuals and everything, and we read them aloud and changed them up because of the difference of language. There was some... Um, you know, words that were not correctly used within the instructions and therefore, so there are things like that that you do. So you pretty much changed half the instructions then? We, not, not half, not, <laughs> Usually not, not, not half, that. but you know, when we went through a sentence, if it didn't make sense to us, sure. we would put words in that made sense and made it better descriptive so that our group of people would be able to understand that. Any other questions? Does anyone? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what are you using the backgrounds for? The backlinks, um, basically, to uh, it helps with your Amazon listings. You get get uh, backlinks to your Amazon listings. It helps your product rank. And um, PR, you know, press releases, you know, they're out there. People are finding them on other news sites, or whatever. It directs back to your Amazon pages. Helps sell it. What's those What's those sites with the backlinks? The links themselves. Yeah. Uh, it helps rank on Amazon. It's part of their algorithm. So there's a lot of stuff. We don't know what's all part of the Amazon algorithm, but I tell you right now that if you get backlinks to your Amazon products, it's just like backlinking to a YouTube video. Make sense? Question over here. Does Amazon actually have any support that you can talk to? I, mean, I, I call them all the time. Okay. Yes. I was trying to get I a called. fulfillment last year. And, you know, Are you an Amazon seller? No, I was trying to you set gotta be it a seller up. first. <laughs> Once you have your seller, then you can contact them. You can do email, but I, I to call them. Uh, basically, you go in your Amazon Seller Central and you say, "Call me now," and the phone rings in a couple of seconds. Oh, that's the problem. Well, yeah. so. and then the, the problem is to get through that first line of support, but right. then get to the, the people you need to talk to. But yeah, I talk to Amazon all the time. <laughs> this is another product I sell on Amazon. Uh, I sell this this company, Tech Mount. It's a fr uh, family friend, and they make the motorcycle mounts. All right. So of course, they're number one for their their keyword phrase. Usually, Amazon, if you type a keyword phrase, Amazon's always up there really high. Uh, this is my website, powersportsus.com. All right, so it's, it's ranking real well. But here, now, I own the rights to sell their product exclusively on Amazon. All right, this is something we negotiated. And these are some, you know, this is another store we have. We just sell these, you know, and all these are our products here. All right. And, and did you see that that was ranked, what number was it? Number four? Uh, number go back four. once. That by but the backlinking like you were asking makes it link on he's in Google right now. So yeah. if you were down you were going All right, this is the this is the manufacturer on top. So he did tech mount, right? right? Go down a little bit. All right. One, two, three, four, keep going. Five, six. His Amazon listing is ranking the for tech mount is ranking right there. And it's it's either by default, yeah. but if you want to get that higher I would just push links to get back in. Alright, and then uh, Somewhere right here was my website. But. 
I, you know, I get a ton of sales coming in through because people are going to prefer to buy it on Amazon, especially if they have an Amazon Prime account because they don't have to pay damn shipping for it. Oh. All right, it's free shipping for them. So you know, we fulfill, we set up accounts to Amazon. So you know, if you could, you know, I'm fortunate enough that you know that they're a family friend that I was able to build this store up, you know, under our brand and have exclusivity. But if you, you know, there's a place up in Wickenburg. Uh, I think of the name, but they, they, uh, Diamond Northern. And we were negotiating a deal to be their exclusive dealer on Amazon. All right? And they decided, well, okay, they went, well, actually went through the ASM training themselves and, and, you know, started doing their stuff. But if you know somebody that has a product that you can become the exclusive Amazon dealer for, you could do this. Another thing you could do is consulting. I guess we did some consulting for some brands, some companies. That they're not doing very well on Amazon. We'll come in, hey, we, you know, if you pay us X amount of money, we'll build up your Amazon store and clean it up, and you know, and just get paid up front and a prop, you know, maybe a percentage of sales. Have you done any consulting like that? Um, helping one person right now consulting okay. things. Sure. I don't have time. I, I have people make me offers all the time. Yeah. We just don't have time. Yeah. It, eventually, our our goal is eventually sell our brands. For and if you think about it, you know, you start doing a few million a month for a brand. What that is over four or five years, you have a nine-figure business that you're going to be able to sell. So we're, our goal is in four to five years, each brand that we're developing to sell it for nine plus figures, and then I will go and consult. Yeah, this is you know you're building a legacy type of business. The problem is if you're doing affiliate marketing, you're selling other people's stuff. You know, you sure you got a website, you're doing affiliate marketing, but you're building a legacy type of business. You're selling a product that you're branding as your own. You are a brand. Google loves brands, okay, and this is something you could sell, like I did for Radar Busters, three million bucks, and then I ended up buying back for you know ten percent because they screwed it all up. But you know, this is what you have that you can sell, pass on to your kids, and you come here and build a legacy type of business. Exactly. You were asking about keyword tools. Um, I, I actually have one that's called Merch. Well, it's an online site, Merchant Words, MerchantWords.com. Is a, uh, a a search that will show you Amazon Amazon rankings. Sometimes they're a little overinflated, but it's a good way to get some keywords. And then you know Google placement tool. Um, I, I don't really use much uh, paid traffic, paid keywords. Not either. Say yeah. merchant words. Yeah. Merchant words. So merchant words. Just like it's back on the packaging earlier. You mentioned that you include customer service information such as contact info. Since you have a vast array of products and you're trying to scale, are you actually taking those calls? Or are you outsourcing those calls? That's all outsourcing. It's all outsourced. So where, what, what? Can you give me a source for that? Just trying to find someone that can speak English or at least give it. Onlinejobs.ph. Online jobs. Onlinejobs.ph is the best place I've found to find uh, someone to work for you full time. They have a, uh, a, a site basically that they test all their employees. I say employees, but the people that are trying to get jobs, and um, they have the resumes in there, exactly what they do, the experience. So are you having to hire that one person for a set chunk of time that you don't know if they're going to get calls or not? Is there not a service that just kind of charges oh, you? Oh, there's the services for that too. Uh, okay. I, like I said, you, it's so cheap to get a VA, okay. virtual assistant, yeah, you that um, that's a good way to do it. So you can have, so for example, we use, I think it's called Call8, which is K-A-L-L-8.com. And that's all my uh, eight, eight my 800 number, my call is coming through there. It comes directly, gets uh, uh, recorded, and it goes to email. And then I have my people, you know, they, they, my girl, follow up with that. Usually okay. by email, though. Usually don't have to do more than email. Okay. But when calls need to be made, um, sometimes I'll take them. It depends on you know if there's someone. Yeah. I mean, in bad form. I don't know. There's a bunch out there. Yeah, there's a lot out there. Well, sure. Last one. No, nothing. I just okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you mentioned uh, the different. ASM courses, there's like one, two, three, four, five. So they're just different launches. Different launches. Yeah. This is actually this this next time is gonna be the fifth time it's launched, and it's gonna be the last time. It's gonna be the last launch that they're ever doing. How many providers of the course are there? Providers of the course, I'm not sure what you mean. There's only one they, they, just one company okay. that are awesome. Austin and correct. And you're one of the working with them. I am now actually helping them with train. I'm the one to be one of their trainers. Okay. Um, I have no uh, financial gain from what they're selling whatsoever, besides what we promote through us. So. And the latest five? The, uh, the five is going to, so uh, Roy will probably be sending this information out, but they will start doing some launch videos, and just so you know, the launch videos that they're going to have out, uh, you'll learn probably 
like the same amount of stuff you're learning tonight, maybe more, uh, because they'll have three videos and they'll go through and they'll go through again, things step by step by step. So you're going to want to see the videos, because if you're taking stuff and running with what we're teaching you tonight, you'll learn more then. And then if you wanted to buy the course, it's actually going to be open for a period from April 22nd to the 30th, and then the 30th it closes down, and that'll be closed. So then they'll start then the module training course. It's closed. Oh, so everything. It only opens for a short period of time and then closes. Okay. And then they have the class modules that go through. And then we had that made the event and everything else. And you actually own that product. You know, we purchased in October 2013, and I own the product. Any updates that are done, that we get the updates on that. All the tools and access that we have, all the collaboration, all the Facebook stuff. You know, we, we we have that all the time. So we pay for something that we keep on getting things for. And then you, everything is in the, all the trainings in video form, so you can access it at any time. So what's the open up to this? Roy, she was asking if you're going to get any information about the launch set. Yeah, important. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video, and I'll email everybody out so you can watch this video again. And I'm going to get uh, a link from David, and where David's going to have more information on this website. And then I'll just email you guys. It, you know, will be a, basically a little comment, you know, from this. Hey, guys, watch the video. Blah 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 blah. Watch the video, we'll have the link, and then click on the link, we'll go to David's site for the launch, and then... Uh, My suggestion is, though, start now. I mean, yeah. seriously, what, what we shared with you today, you can take something, find some opportunities, and the thing is, you're going to find opportunities, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's so many opportunities. There are, and you don't even know that much yet. Start with something, because it's not that expensive to get something up and running. How many I mean, products do you need to send? What's your what's volume? No, I mean like 100 of them, 500 of them, what do you mean? I would start with 50 to 100, that's what we usually start at. I started my straps for 100, my first order was 400. And what yeah. is Amazon's requirement for an inventory, like you say, for, like it says sometimes four available, sometimes you go on Amazon, it says, um, it tells you how much is available for a product to find demand. So does Amazon have a minimum on requirement? No. Nope. No, like you were mentioning something in your garage. If you usually have an Amazon seller account, you can go through and probably you're going to find people that are selling that product. Go through there and add to their listings and sell your product. Get rid of it. Uh, no, there's no minimum. No, not at all. You can sell whatever you want. But I suggest getting you know, 50 to 100 because what happens is what, with, with Amazon, their <coughs> ranking, it builds on momentum. And you know, they start building these rankings. And as you build rankings, you get more organic sales coming in. And then you start growing. You, know, you spend a few sales a day, and 10 sales a day. And, a and all of a sudden, you run out of inventory. And, you're like, ah. and then if it takes how long? You say four months to get it. Four months to get my know, product. Then you got to wait, and then you got to start the process over again. So you want to, you got to. It's it's a kind of a, 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 a delicate feel process. You get the get the hang of it. Uh, most people that I work with, they run out of stuff. It's a good. Thing. And then you eventually learn, you know, how soon you have to order, so you make sure that that stock keeps on flowing. So yes. Last Last launch of the course, yes. They launched it five times there. If you go to another thing, you can go to look at um, amazing.com. They are building a whole brand. They're going to become a, a one stop place for all business training for all entrepreneurs, which is why Robert Kiyosaki is back behind that as well, and so is Branson, um, because they are building their own multi billion dollar brand. And this ASM, it's been their flagship, it's a flagship product, but it's a lot of work. And I know now how much work it is because now I'm working with them. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a lot of work. Uh, but they're probably going to have it so it'll be available down the road. as a, We call it Evergreen, which means you can buy it at any time. But they won't have the webinars. They won't have the support. They won't have the, um, uh, the big time events and stuff like that. And probably they're saying it's going to be twice as much money. So there'll be less than they launch it. Uh, and then probably another year or so they'll make it available so you can buy it. To buy it. <coughs> we just started our own merchant account with Amazon. I was just going to suggest to everybody <coughs> that you do that. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to start. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and start selling a few items before you go out and buy a big load. So that way you get from the door, you realize uh, how it all works and how you get your shipment to Amazon. Uh, and then you start buying your big purchases. Uh, it's really easy to do. We did it uh, mostly through Amazon. We also use YouTube to help us uh, find uh, we used to do retail arbitrage, which is buying low in retail and selling online, and that's how we're starting. But what we're <clears throat> eliminated on is uh, resources on YouTube as far as buying from China. And so that's why I came here today. But I just suggest everybody get their own account going. Okay, so you start with an individual account or business account? No, it's, it's, 
you can set up your own merchant account. Free. It's easy to do on Amazon. Got less, less questions. If you launch 10 products on Amazon, how many of them will do well? If you launch 10 products? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would recommend launching more than one product at one time. It's, it's, it's a hypothetical, uh, I just want to find if out. If you know what you're doing, 90%. It's a lot, a lot of work for 10 products, though. If, if, you, you know, if you know how to go through and find things, I think I would probably, I, I could probably almost do 100% now. But in the beginning, with what you're trained how to do, I would say 9 tenths out of 10, you pick winners. <laughs> now, you know, where I'm at right now, it's super simple because I'm number one seller. I don't have to do much work. Except maybe squat a few flies every time somebody comes out with another word strap. Um, but you know, it, when I did the initial launch, it took me some work. All right, I had to do some backlinking, I had to do some press releases. The thing that ASM teaches, and it took only like four weeks to six weeks to get to that status, and then it was just easy sailing. Then I could come up with a second, well, you know, launch, third launch, fourth launch. I wouldn't recommend you know launching more than one product at a time. All right, uh, we're way over time. Uh, what we're going to be doing is, uh, this video is going to be recorded. I'm going to do some editing. I'll get a copy of David's uh, presentation. We'll have this online. Uh, I'll send everybody a link, and then I'll also have the link embedded on the video also on the page uh, where you can then go to David's website. David's going to have a lot more material on his website, some PDFs and things that you could download. It will be the next step, and then when David, you know, when they start doing the ASL launch, if you're really serious in making some money, I mean, it's, it's, it's super simple. Start making a few, you know, you just, right now, tonight, when you leave here tonight, you have enough information to make your first thousand dollars. All right? Monthly. Monthly. All right? <coughs> you just gotta need to take it from scale from here. And so often I go to training like this, you know, $400 change your life. That's basically what I hear from a lot of people. You have 400 bucks that can make a car payment, 500 you know, make the car payment. This is much greater than this. This is like $20,000, $27,000 a month extra income. And once you get it to scale like I'm doing for stupid straps, it's, you know, you don't have to do anything. Except you know? brand new. Except brand new. It's all about brand new. I don't know if that would be a good campaign. All right. Uh, I'm going to be here, uh, you know, afterward. You know, David's going to be here. His wife's going to be here. So if you have any questions, you know, hang out with us. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you.